I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to evaluate exact value of sine and sine inverse functions. So the question here is find the exact value of sine inverse sine pi by 4 and sine inverse sine pi by 2. Right? So you can actually pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now when we write sine inverse sine pi by 4, we will write this as sine inverse and what is sine pi by 4? Sine pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2, right? 1 over square root 2. Uh, I hope you remember the triangle. Let me make the special triangle here to recollect. So in this triangle, the angle is pi by 4, that is 90 degrees. This is also pi by 4, and the sides are 1, 1, square root 2, right? So sine pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2. Now it is sine inverse 1 over square root 2 is what? Now inverse of 1 over square root 2 will be pi by 4. So we get back pi by 4. Do you see that? So what we learn here is that sine inverse of sine x is equal to x, right? So that's what we learn. Now you can try here also. So what we have here is sine inverse of sine pi by 2. So that means sine inverse of sine. What is sine pi by 2? Sine pi by 2 is 1. So we can write this as, let me now write pi by 2, the question itself, which is sine inverse of 1, right? Sine pi by 2 is 1, and sine inverse of 1 is pi by 2, correct? So again, what we get is sine inverse of sine x is equals to x. Now, it is important to note that you'll only get this result provided x is between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Since inverse of sine function is basically defined in this interval, right? So that is the domain for the inverse. So, so it is only true in this particular domain, right? So that is important. Both these angles were within this interval and therefore we got that result. Let's take a few more examples to understand this concept. Thank you.